and a dozen of those cases are coming from an assisted living facility in the county. The Premier Living and Rehab Center reported its 12th positive case just this morning. WWI's Kylie Jones talked to the facility about how they're handling things and staying proactive. Kylie, what did they tell you? Randy, since March, the facility in Lake Waccamaw has been preparing, but like everyone, the facility's administrator says they've never experienced anything like this. It was actually them taking the initiative that alerted them to six of their positive cases. This is just the first time in, in my lifetime, any time that I can remember in, in my 20 years career here as the administrator, um, that we've experienced anything like this. Jeannie Parnell juggling, keeping her staff and residents at Premier Living and Rehab Center safe while still doing their job each day. It's very difficult to give care from six feet away. Between the close quarters and older residents, assisted living facilities around the country have become COVID hotspots. Since March, Parnell has been on high alert. Texting all of my department heads and telling them, start ordering extra until I tell you to stop. Extra masks, gloves, and supplies. On April 10th, she says they got word of the facility's first positive case. When a few cases popped up, Parnell says they took matters into their own hands. We made the decision to go ahead and test everyone just, just so we could try to knock it down and get a handle on it. And we were extremely surprised to find that there were six additional um, cases. None of those six residents, she says, even showing symptoms. As of Tuesday morning, the facility had 12 positive cases. Parnell says they have a separate wing of the facility dedicated to positive residents. Two of our folks that went to the hospital and were hospitalized due to the virus have been discharged and have come back to us. And visitor restrictions, Parnell says, have made things even harder on everyone. Messenger, FaceTime, uh, videos with family members and their loved ones, sent pictures. There's no telling how many phone calls have been made just, just so they can hear their voice. Parnell says those residents who did test positive but aren't showing symptoms are doing well. They're hopeful all make a full recovery. She also says once that 14 day quarantine period is up for each resident, they'll test them again before moving them out of their COVID wing. For now, reporting live in Wilmington, Kylie Jones, WWAY News. Randy.